Hey, Dr. Tommy Goranga. We're here in Clonmel. Meeting some people. Trying to learn a little something. Investigating the ancient cultures of Ireland. And, uh, because there's very little known about them. So we're going to ask people a little bit more today. Try and learn a little bit about the ancient culture of Ireland. Hey, how's it going? We're just passing these out. It's a bit of yoga or meditation. I'm already People nowhere. are just... No worries. Hey, we're passing these out. Alright, hey, we're here with these two cool dudes. What, what's your name, man? Simon. Simon, and... I'm Darren, man. Darren, good to meet you. Good to meet you. So where were you to? We're in Con Clonmel today. And uh, you were... These fellas are doing archaeology. Yeah, indeed. Right, so... You were just, what were you saying? You were doing a dig? What, what? I worked up in Shannon Golden on a nunnery. Nunnery? Yeah. Right, and how old was it? Uh, from the 12th century. Right, far out. So, like, what do you think about, um, like, the ancient cultures that were in this country? You know, like, going back before the Christians and, and all of this stuff, like, pagans. That's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we know anything about them? Like, what do we... We know a lot, but we just... If you're talking ancient, you're going to talk about pre-Christian pre cultures, there's not much actually known about them by their settlement types. Right. Like, Christian culture is fairly well recorded in the annals. We've uh, yeah. not recorded in ancient Irish, but before that, you've done not much. Sadly, I think they destroyed a lot of the stuff, you know? Yeah, like, to try and establish, it's a bit of an Illuminati, like an old Illuminati, like yeah, before yeah. the new one came along. A lot of the stuff would have been destroyed, destroyed by the Christians because they uh, wipe out pagan traditions, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, that links in with these books. Like, this books are uh, ancient knowledge from India. And uh, th this is actually, like, was a global culture um, 5,000 years ago. So that's kind of linking in with that, like, so. It's really interesting, man. It's cool to meet archaeologists. Like, yeah. great, man. Like, can you say Goranga? Goranga. Goranga. It's like a mantra. It means be happy. So. Goranga to you, man. Goranga. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Nice one. Cheers. See ya. You can talk about your rock. Okay. So, hey, what's your name? Baven. What? Baven. Baven. And yeah. what's this? This is my rock. It's oh, my wow. magic rock. Fantastic. <laughs> I guess it. <laughs> no, I made it in a cafe up there for the Dota Festival. All right, cool. And like, what do you do? You think that rocks actually have power? Like, do you believe that they? I probably do, actually. I mean. Like, why did I pick this rock? Was it like calling me or something? <laughs> you know you never I mean? know. <laughs> Who knows? It's amazing. And like. Um, do you know about anything about ancient cultures like the pagans and stuff in Ireland? Because there's a lot of stone circles, isn't there, oh, in okay. Ireland? Like, because I mean, yeah. rocks do—they do seem to have they some were, sort of like ancient people there was thought some kind of symbolism for them, some like, magic uh, power to them, like yeah, like power and strength. Or well, something. no one knows about it, right? Like, we don't know what what it was. Like, no, not really. It's interesting. Just random stones everywhere in Ireland. You could be onto something here with your rock, like. I could just leave it down somewhere and start a new trend. <laughs> yeah, you just could. Just more rocks building up. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Nice. Can you say Goranga? <laughs> Goranga. Goranga. Be happy. Goranga. Be happy. Fantastic. Can you shout it? Okay. Goranga. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Brilliant. Cheers. Bye. What? What's your name, my friend? My name is Trevor Keyes. Trevor Keyes. Can you just share your story there, what you were yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, my mother passed away there three years ago, on the 26th of July. Right. And she passed away at, at, at exactly 5.25, the time I was born. It's on me birth chart as well. Like. The exact time? Yeah, the exact time. On the exact day yeah. that you were born, she, just passed, she passed on? She passed away. That is mystical. Yeah. Well, what do you it's, think's it's going very, on? It's been very, very hurtful. And, but yeah. I'm sorry to I hear think, that. I think she just kind of waited until my birthday to pass away because she was she was ill for four years Right. before that. Do you so, believe in life after death? I do, yeah. What, what do you I believe my mother is looking down at me and right. she, she got us these medals. Right. Which is her picture on it. Oh yeah. Wow. She got us these medals and so before she died. And it was amazing, like it was it was heartful but it's really powerful. Yeah. Do you believe in the power of prayer? 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a. Do you know about like mantras? Like there's kind of powerful spiritual words. Like, can you can you say goranga? Goranga. Goranga. It, it's um, it it brings happiness, and you can you can chant this for people who have died, and you can actually send them good wishes in the next life. You know. Never, so you, never heard of that before. No. It, yeah, it's an ancient thing. It's about five thousand years old. If you you could try it if you want Goranga. like Goranga. 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 Yeah, you chant Goranga a few times for your mum. It will really send her some good energy, you know. And, and Cheers. I'm sure she's in a better place anyway, you know. Yeah. yeah. She's oh, got a good son. Well, like, she's like she's son. um, she's looking down on me anyway. Yeah. I know she's. I know yeah. she's there. Like. You're still connected. Like. Yeah. Fair play, Tima. Thank you. No, thank you. Good to meet you. Nice one. Cheers, dude. Goranga. Goranga, yeah. Really, as it comes up. Well. Yeah, yeah. What's your name, man? My name's Brett. Brett, what, what are you studying, dude? I study public relations and new media. All right, cool. So, like, what do you think is uh, in society, like, where are we headed? Do you uh, in circles. <laughs> do you think that people are happy in general, like, um, with the way they're living? I didn't look very happy. She looked kind of bored to me. Right. But she was a nice, attractive girl, probably mid-twenties. Right. She's walking around with her buggy. I saw her sitting up above. She was just kind of sitting, looking. With the baby? Uh, I'm not sure does she have the baby up there. All right. She has the baby now. And with this book, it's kind of like a new direction for society. Something to think about. Like This book is it's a, based oh, yeah. on uh, kind of like um, cooperative living in a spirit of love. Karma. You know? like, yeah, you and karma. You know, you know your stuff. Yeah, not kind of drop dumping on other people to get where you're going, you know, but because that's going to come back to you later on. Me. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Man. Grant. I actually I downloaded, a, I stole a yoga DVD, three hours of essential beginners yoga. Was that like Lycra yoga or was it the real mystical, like the, the real uh, thing? Uh, what like it is, is you're sitting down, you're crossing your legs, right. your fingers up and you're doing the... <laughs> oh, the pranayama and all that, the life is, and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. balance it, peaceful, makes you peaceful. That's it, man. Brilliant, dude. Like, cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Can nice you say you, Goranga? It's a mantra. Goranga. Goranga. Be happy. Goranga.